Hello, welcome to Gardener's World. Last week we were at the Morgan Show, which was great, but it's lovely to be back in the garden, even if it is a bit wet today and it's welly weather. However, that won't stop me getting these plants into the ground. These are the ones that Sarah and I bought at the Morgan Show for our cottage garden. Although, I'm going to have to plant them on my own today because Sarah is away in New York. And I'll be creating containers that are packed full of plants that require absolutely no summer maintenance. I hope Chris doesn't think he's going to spend all day in that lovely warm greenhouse with plants that don't need much attention. Because later on, he and I are going to lay a turf lawn in this circular area in our ornamental fruit garden. But first, the cottage garden. We began the cottage garden about a month ago. Stripping it back, digging it thoroughly, because it doesn't matter what kind of garden you've got, you do want the soil to be in the best condition possible. And the next phase is the creative one of getting the plants into the ground. Now, we haven't got a plan. That goes against the spirit of cottage gardening, which is to create a space that is loose and soft. And the first step, when you've got a group of plants together like these, and all of these are either spring flowering or early summer, is to take the pots and place them where you want them to go. Not only are we getting drifts and clumps of the same plant, but also picking up colours in drifts and clumps. And in fact, this is exactly in the spirit of planting that Gertrude Jekyll made so successful at the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th century. It's ideal for small cottage gardens. This is not something you want to hurry. Take time, think about it. It could take days if need be. This is a lovely little gym. Beautiful. Suddenly you look at it and you think, oh yeah, yeah, maybe that's beginning to come together. It's a panacetum. Got that very distinctive smell. Go on. Mm -hmm. 